So on the project management common part, the first thing which we are going to talk about survey excellence, continuing investment. The first part under costing, project costing, is unprocessed transaction, real-time OTBI subject via enhancement. So basically this comes from the OTBI uh, part, so it says that new major to display the count of costed transaction and the count of uncosted transactions are available under unprocessed transaction details under unprocessed transaction measure folder. So for this, so now you can see the count of costed as well as count of uncosted transaction based on the business unit or based on the project as per the selection you make. So for this, I'll just show you on the instance how it looks like. Uh, so basically going forward, I'll just, uh, I'll just make, I'll just uh, let you know that few things can be shown on the instance and two things I've seen over here to, uh, 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 to screenshots and all. So we'll go like that. So first of all, I'll walk through this about unprocessed transaction real-time OTBI subject area. We have to go to BI and for going to BI, we have to, first of all, let me, uh, let me go to the instance. So I have logged into ME Marlin, which has, uh, who has the project related rule. Okay. So after this, let us go to the report and analysis. So we have to go to report and analysis from tools and then from tools we can go to browse catalog. Okay. From the browse catalog we can go to create the analysis and under this we have to go to unprocessed project costing unprocessed transaction real time. This is the subject area we are looking for. Okay, on the left hand side you can see the subject area and under this we have to select unprocessed transaction details. Under that we have to select unprocessed transaction measure. So as you can see here, we can see count of costed transaction and count of uncosted transaction. So this has been new additions done. So let us take one part, count of uncosted trans transaction. We can move it here. And then we have to select any business unit so that we can get the count of it. So uh, I'll just go to project. Then in the project, I wanted to look for business unit. Yeah, project business unit, to drag and drop it over here and then you can click on the result part. So if I, once the result has come, the output has come, you can see US one business unit and the count of uncosted transaction is 105. So this is how you can build report, dashboard analysis you can do. So these are the two main subject areas which has been included over here under project cost, uh, project unprocessed transaction real time, under that we have co cost of uncosted, count of uncosted transaction and the count of costed transaction. So this was the first part. Let us go to the second one now. Second one comes of like Oracle Digital Assistant for project time capture and project manager, project management skill enhancement. So basically this is AI driven thing. Okay. Digital assist, Oracle Digital Assistant increase the ability to detect what user is trying to achieve and provide context to the request. So it is, it is a complete AI platform to create conversational experience for business application to test chat voice interface. So whatever we are typing or whatever we wanted uh, an output from it, the Oracle will suggest us some Speech for that, like do this, do that, click on this. So these are some kind of AI driven thing which uh, which Oracle is introducing nowadays and from hence this 
Hence, 23A, we can see number of things coming up under uh, coming up by Oracle. So this is powered by neural network and machine learning. Yeah. Next part is project issues task association. So in this, uh, we can link the project issues to the task so that the closure of issues can drive task completion. So initially, what used to happen like we we cannot link the issues with the task so that whenever the issues are completed and uh, it automatically tasks won't get completed so but now we can do it we can link the project issues with the project task project manager and team members can create issues for task milestones and automatically list them as a work items for driving task progress also one can set task completion criteria for each work item to mark the task complete when all associated work item meets the criteria. So, this is how it looks like. So, first of all, we have to create an issue in manage issue page and link the existing project task. On the manage issue page, uh, plan, project plan page, right click on the project. Okay, this are the step how I just go and browse it, how it look like, how we can create it. And then, uh, this is how would, uh, this is how the page will look like manage work items. So let me take you to the instance. Let us go to project management. You can select any project over here. Click on Manage Issues. Okay, now here we can create an issue. On the right side, we can see create. Let us create an issue over here. We can see quality and design issue. Quality and design issue. Okay, owner is Emmy Marlin. So we can associate task over here now. Then which task? We are going to associate it. Let us associate with application design. Now this would be type would be quality related. Priority you can set it at medium, high, low depending upon of what priority it is. So I will set medium. This is the new part or uh, new status. Need, need by end date you can write down description. You can put as just go to. Now, save and close. Okay, now here we can see uh, the issue which we have created. If you can't see directly over here, then just click role I own, I create. Okay, yeah. So we have created this one, quality and design issue. So this is how you can create uh, issue and then you can link this to the task wherever it, it is applied. Okay, so this is how the association of issue and task can be done. Show it once again. This was the issue which we have created. The next part is Task copy and paste in financial project using the new project planning user experience. So basically in this uh, update what we can do is we can copy and paste the task in the financial project to quickly add new work to the project plan. Previously what used to happen we, we could not copy and paste the task, task and if the copy and paste task was only available for non-financial projects. But now this has been updated and the copy and paste task, this task can be done for the financial projects also. So there are few things that we have to consider before doing this is 
select only one single task to copy so take an example uh, a, a task has sub task in it take an example design has design 1 design 2 in it okay so we cannot copy the entire design thing is what we can do is we can copy design 2 design 1 okay so single task can be copied at one you cannot select and copy multiple tasks at the same time yes multiple things cannot be done you can copy and paste at the at the lowest task any time so even if you do design as copy it will it will copy the lowest level of task it won't copy the entire part so just uh, just to brief out only a single task can be only the single task can be copied at one time let me just take you through this and show you how copy and paste can be done in financial project okay let's go to home project financial management once you go to project financial analyst management select any project go to manage financial project plan okay now here you can see different task okay now this task has sub task in it or uh, we can view this as expand all so this are the sub task so take an example if i wanted to copy over here okay so let us let us select the task which we wanted to copy taken which where we wanted to copy the task okay so number 24 delivery this i have selected go to actions go to manage task and over here copy external task so we have to copy from the external thing you can select any project uh, over here so we can copy from text let me see if there any text project are there so let me copy from this task name i'll select so i'll be copying under delivery so let me select system certification i wanted to copy this task okay search system certification task number 6, 6. now you can add prefix over here for better understanding i'll just write copy okay dates will be changed as per the project plan dates okay so that day so why it didn't come because the dates were un weren't uh, under the the dates which are there for this project we can do it again search for the project test project to be created to check this ah uh, let us fill in this task search copy 
PR of this current task, okay. So there are this dates issue, you have entered the incorrect dates for the task system certification. The planned start date must be the earlier than or equal to the planned finish date. So the date should be between this. So if you see, I have copied this part for so 9 planning and I have copied over here the design part that has been come. So that was under the same date, that's why it has been copied. So similarly, uh, the, the part which ha I have shown, this is the part which you can do it. Or you can do duplicate task also. So there are two ways of doing this. First of all, you can go to manage task and then copy from external task or you can also do the duplicate task part which can be duplicated over here. So just make sure the date. Now take an example what I was trying to say is plan start date is 4-4-22 and the plan ending date is 14-1-14-25. So you have to look for the project uh, copy task which comes under this project date date line so you have to make sure that happens now the next part which comes is get new speed suggestions on your next likely action so this is again a uh, ai driven thing as i said like oracle is investing more and more into ai things and you are going to see more updates in future like in 23 A, B, C, D, you can see more related to AI things. So here you can get suggestions on your next likely actions in your news feed layout. The algorithm uses historic navigation behavior and patterns of each user and artificial and artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithm predicts and suggests the actions each user is most likely to take during the session. But take an example if you are creating a project like then it will you know suggest to the actions like how you can create a project you can create a project from template or you can copy and create uh, from another project so ai will ai will give you suggestions like how you can complete the task or what would be your next feed action so this can be uh, uh, done okay so the business benefit of this is receive recommendation in your new feeds or likely next actions during the session as i said like next action, uh, Oracle can give suggestions on your next actions. Discover actions that other user like to, like have taken in the fusion. So what other users have done after the certain task. So that can come as an, you know, actions to you as a feed. Next thing is, as an administrator, you can pin specific task flows pages as a suggestions to raise the visibility of the task. You can pin as an or uh, we can pin, we pin some messages on teams or we pin some emails on our uh, uh, or we pin some emails and all so in such things you can pin the task uh, which you want to be visible okay so such things can be done in this update to enable this feature you need to log in sr with oracle and then uh, you can go you can use this feature Thank you.